Welcome to another Premier League predictions video. This is for week 5 of the Premier League and let's get right into it. First game up is Fulham and Brighton. This will be a tough game for Fulham. Brighton have only conceded once this season, so they're tough to break down. Obviously Fulham lost to Arsenal in their last game and I think they should have conceded more goals. But going into this one, I think it'll be a 1-0 win to Brighton. Next game up is Crystal Palace and Brentford. This is a big game for both sides and really a chance to get maximum points. I think Palace have been hard done by so far this season. They faced Arsenal, Liverpool and Man City in their opening four games. So this is a chance for them to get back on track and really pick up some points. For Brentford, they will be disappointed because they only drew 1-1 at home to Everton who are struggling massively this season. So it's a missed opportunity. But either way, this will be a tough game. Either side could win it. I think it'll be a 2-1 win to Palace. Next game up is Southampton and Chelsea. I think this will be a close game. For Chelsea, I don't know how they managed to beat Leicester. I know they played at home, but they went down to 10 men after about 25 minutes. So they played with 10 men for over an hour and they still managed to win. And they scored two goals. It's it, I don't know how they managed to do it, but well done. And for Southampton, obviously they lost 1-0 to May United. They probably could have equalized in this game, but it didn't happen. Going to this one, I think it'll be a tough game. Either side could win it. I think it'll be a 1-1 draw. Next game up is Leeds and Everton. Leeds lost in their last game to Brighton. Obviously, you know, it was a close game. They they probably could have gotten something out of it, but they didn't. And for Everton, they managed to get a point away to Brentford, which is a decent result. But, you know, with the position they're in, you're looking to get a bit more out of that. But this will be a tough game. It'll be a close one. I think it'll be a 2-1 win to Leeds. Next game up is Bournemouth and Wolves. So, Bournemouth lost to Liverpool in their last game 9-0, which I still don't understand how that even happened. Whenever a team loses by this kind of margin, you're kind of questioning just what the hell went on. Uh, because Bournemouth conceded 5-0 in the first half. And then they went on to concede four goals. In the second half. So it's almost as if that. You know they didn't even learn. From their mistakes. So. I think Bournemouth. Are in massive trouble. You know. They did beat Villa on the opening day. Which is a really good result. But now we're still. We're starting to see the reality. Of the situation they're in. Four Wolves. Um, you know, obviously, they should have beaten Newcastle. And really, they should have picked up a lot more points than they have so far this season. So, they're not really taking the opportunities. But, I think they win this one 2-0. Next game up is Man City and Nottingham. This will be a 3-0 win to City. Next game up is Arsenal and Aston Villa. This will be a 3-0 win to Arsenal. But I just want to say, I think Aston Villa are in massive trouble. I think Steven Gerrard is also in trouble. For some reason, this team is not looking too great. Um, you know, they have made some signings. But um, I'm not really too sure why this team isn't doing, well, 
honestly, I think this team should be picking up a lot more points. Um, and, um, you know, obviously that loss to West Ham was really bad. They should have won that game. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, I don't think they will be in a relegation battle, but we'll see what happens. Next game up is West Ham and Tottenham. This is a big game for both sides. It's a London derby. West Ham did beat Aston Villa in their last game. Which I thought for sure they'd lose it. But, you know, well done for winning it. Um, I still think they're struggling though. So, you know, excuse me. I think going to this one, you know, I think they could... Well, I think they'll play well, but I think they'll end up losing it. Um, and for Tottenham, you know, they picked up another three points. So, they're just doing what they need to do. Stay near the top of the table. I had predicted this match to be 2-2, but I'm going to change my mind, and I think this will be a 2-1 win to Tottenham. Next game up is... Excuse me. Next game up is Liverpool and Newcastle. So I just finished describing how bad Bournemouth were. But, you know, I think Bournemouth is the easiest game you'll have this season for any side. Obviously, Aston Villa lost, and now I'm starting to think, I don't know how the fuck they lost that game, because Bournemouth, well, let's be honest, they are absolutely rubbish. Um, And yeah, I don't think any team's going to have an easier game this season. So, going into this one, I think Liverpool, you know, obviously they took their chances against Bournemouth, but obviously, when a team plays that poorly, it's, you know, you don't have to really fucking, you know, try that hard. Um, this is elite level sports, but, you know, what the fuck was that? So, you know, well done to Liverpool for getting the three points. They needed it, but this is a completely different game against Newcastle. So, Newcastle, they're undefeated this season. Um, obviously they've had some draws, but they're not a team that you can easily walk over. So, going to this one... I think it'll be a tough game. It'll be a close one. And I think it'll be a 2-2 draw. Next game up is Leicester and Manchester United. I think Leicester are another yeah. I think Leicester are another team that are in massive trouble. They picked up just one point this season. And they're at the bottom of the table. They're doing even worse than Bournemouth, which is hard to believe. For Manchester United, oh, yeah. And they lost to 10-man Chelsea when it was still nil-nil. So, it's absolutely ridiculous. And for United, you know, they picked up, you know, another three points against Southampton. So, they picked up six points in their last two games. So, things are looking good. And I think they win this one 2-0. And that's about it.